what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so of course i cannot wait till tonight until the corey holcomb show comes on which i'm a big fan of the 5150 show but it seems like corey holcomb one of the things i've noticed on this show obviously is critical of you know uh, hollywood modern women things like that but have you also noticed that Corey Holcomb is a very critical of comedians, like a lot of comedians. He talks about them like crazy. Now, before I get to the whole uh, situation he had at the Laugh Factory, remember when Corey Holcomb went in on Dave Chappelle? This is what he said about his comedy. And I feel like it needed to be shook up because we some scary mother man but my nuts too big to just be quiet forever about shit that I see in this comedy game that must be spoken on God hmm. I, I can't be quiet no more my Dave Chappelle be bombing like a mother I'm just keeping it real dog <laughs> I have watched whenever they say hey everybody guess what special guest Dave Chappelle I'll be like ah oh. Damn. <laughs> it's finna be hot garbage for at least an hour. Hour, maybe two. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not trying to shit on the brother, but he needs to understand you throwing your weight around too much, man. Standing up there smoking with them irregular shirts on, bombing all the time. Dave Chappelle is absolutely great in movies. Great. I didn't say good. I said great. The month, Nutty Professor, them scenes where he was in them movies with Martin. When Dave Chappelle is in a movie, man, Dave Chappelle kill that shit. We was talking about it before we came on. The Chappelle show was so good and entertaining. The Chappelle show, they were selling it in the barbershops. It's a TV show. Yeah, yeah. They were selling the TV show in the barbershops. Give Dave Chappelle his flowers, but stand up. God damn. <laughs> this, this man has so much power because of what he's done in movies and TV that he can go in any comedy club, they're gonna put him up, cause he's Dave Chappelle, and I promise you, this man is about to do a say no to comedy speech for as long as he up there. It's just nobody has the courage to say nothing, cause it's Dave Chappelle, but Dave Chappelle be bombing like a mother And he has said other things about earthquake. Keep going. Anyway, <laughs> gay cakes, I ain't mad at you, Joe. Whenever you, stop hating on me to promoters. I already know what you do. You, wow. I ain't working with Corbin. You ain't gotta work with me, garbage ass. I ain't mad at you no more. You a dope fiend, I ain't mad at you. I, Whoa. I remember the motherfucker couldn't even read when he was on Black Jesus set. Can't read, dog. Damn. I had heard that before. Oh. Literally, he literally can't read. No. I'm talking about gay cakes. So he don't, he don't hold his tongue. And um, you know, he, he likes telling everybody, you know, look, this guy can't rock it. This guy ain't good. So on and so forth. Here's what he had to say about Donnell Rawlings at the Laugh Factory. And there was a little bit of an altercation. Let's play the clip. Mild sauce, my mild, M-I-L-D. Mild sauce, my mild, M-I-L-D. Mild, mild, mild. You catch up, you ain't have sauce. Nobody agree? Nobody. So I'm wrong. Oh, okay, I can be wrong. I'm talking about, but we at the, we at the, um, what is this called? This is the Laugh Factory. <laughs> we was at the Savoy, you wouldn't be able to be up here that long. <laughs> you know, you know, get your whole ass down. I catch up in the hardest rooms in Brooklyn. <laughs> and, you never, and you ain't never, and you ain't never with them rooms. You just yelling. Because, because I don't have a mic. I can talk to you straight up. You wanna talk about it? You saying I'm mild, you saying I ain't come through the streets or the gutters and straight bull And if you wanna ask somebody, ask the mother that you know what I do. Okay, all right, listen, listen. 
Just be fair. Fair conversation. That's your Larry. Way to go. No, 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 no. Let's be fair. Let's be fair and real. You say you keep it 100. You know how I get down. How? 32. I rip. You rip lights? I rip. You, you, you ask any ever seen me bomb. Anybody. And you ask anybody that don't know me, I keep it gangster. I don't say you No, bomb. you were trying to say I'm a bum. I ain't no bum. No, I didn't say that you saw, that saw. Your company is mild. It's mild. You know what? You know what? You know what you're doing now? You're a provocateur. You know how to incite people. Ain't nothing mild about my People look at you. Ain't nothing. If you was at the mall, they'll put you out with your hot dog in your hand. And guess what? And guess what? And guess what? You can say what you want to say. You can say what you want to say. You calling me a mild comic is totally off. So you a strong comic. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. That's right. Now, I, I do want to uh, talk about this if I can. I remember Lavelle Crawford said this is a big thing in comedy that this happened a lot. Let me play that clip and then I'm going to discuss it. The more the money go up in your life, the more the more the uh, you know the the uh, what you call spite comes out of other people. And if y'all all on the same screen, see and see the one thing about black entertainers, we think it's only one bag, and we don't even understand, man. I couldn't I I couldn't even get in with the Fridays and all that stuff. I don't know why because they wouldn't call me, but I got in with the Adam Sandlers. I got in with Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. When Netflix wouldn't let me do a special with them, they put my special on that I filmed somewhere else. I did Showtime, and thank you Showtime so many times, and I appreciate Netflix showing my special on their, their, uh, their, their platform. Tubi, big shout out to them. But hey man, but like I tell people all the time, we think it's just one bag, and that's how these, how these beefs come up. You think as you making it, you you can you know you start giving me, but then some comments do stick. So let me let me deal with it if I can deal with this. All right. First of all, I don't really know Donnell uh, Rawlings like that outside of him being on um, the Chappelle Show. And um, again, I don't really know why he was there or how did that come up. But comedians obviously have a lot of beef. I myself have never heard of Donnell Rollins as like a top level black comedian. I could be wrong. You know, I loved AJ Johnson, you know, West in Peace, people like that. Um, obviously you hear about Corey Holcomb in the black sector, you know, there's Scruncho in the black sector, you know, uh, Red, shout out to Red, people like that. D-Ray in the black sector, of course. Um, but you, you never really hear about Donnell Rollins. I mean, I've seen him on the Breakfast Club, but I never really heard about like, you know, but he could be the truth, I'm, I'm not sure. And so for the fact that he he's there trying to defend himself at somebody's show, like for me, I would not even waste my time yelling at somebody. And this is why I seen D-Ray and um, um, Dave Chappelle do also at the same Laugh Factory when Dave Chappelle came at Cat Williams. I don't know what's going on with the comedians, but maybe need like a celebrity box of comedians or whatever, because a lot of cats just don't like each other. I mean, it's crazy. And um, again, I think, you know, let me just say this. You, you ever know, like when Corey Holcomb talks about Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp does not respond to Corey Holcomb because Corey Holcomb is a <laughs> is a master critic, right? Well, Corey Holcomb responded to you know Mike Epps. He responded to Mace, right? But he doesn't really respond to Corey Holcomb. Not that Corey Holcomb isn't worth responding to or he's but he just doesn't. I haven't heard it yet. And it seemed like to me that Donnell Rollins, if he's so, you know, like secure in his comedy, why is he even wasting his time arguing? Like he, if this is, if this is Corey set, if he, somebody called my stuff trash, I'm not about to sit there and be yelling back and forth at you at your own comedy show when you have a mic and I don't. I'm not gonna do that. You know, if, if it's that serious, I'll see you after the show, but I'm not gonna be there trying to, you know, defend my career on your comedy show, yelling like a goddamn fool. I'm not gonna do that. I just can't. It doesn't make sense. But, you know, maybe, maybe he feel like he got something to offer. But I'm gonna be honest though, it was funny watching these, you know, watching it. And it seemed like Corey had some fun. Again, I don't know, maybe it was just some on some drunk shit or whatever and all of that. But I'm pretty sure, you know, like, 
he said she said his comedy was my. That's his opinion. If he thinks his comedy is my, okay, well, shit, you know, you, my, my comedy, my, all right. Well, there are dudes who think that my YouTube videos is. I saw one dude the other day call me out on my YouTube channel. This dude have less than I don't know a thousand subscribers. Like nobody can take somebody like that seriously, bro. Like you're not even nobody to be considered. So obviously he must think that Corey Holcomb is somebody to you know really be worried about because it, 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 he definitely seemed hurt. Hey man, go out there and prove him wrong. So guys, we think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another soda, serving drunk. Appreciate you just heard bell. We're out.